Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm the Philadelphia Hoovian and I have not done a video in a very, very long time. But I come to do this video now to talk about the political climate that was happening in my country now and how I'm quite terrified of it. So friends, in this video, I'm going to be talking about George Washington, the very first president of the United States of America, and how he actually was warning us, warning us against individuals like Donald Trump and the MAGA movement, and any that might follow him. And friends, first and foremost, I wanna make it very clear, I am the daughter of a Democrat and the daughter of a Republican. I am proud of both. I've seen the beauty of both parties and the horror of both parties. I respect the Democratic stance, the Republican stance, the independent stance, how they all are meant to contribute to my country. But friends, what's going on right now is just terrifying about whether or not very soon either we're going to elect a president or a tyrant. And I cannot sit by any longer. I've been trying to do this for a very long time and I'm gonna try again. And what inspired me to do these videos is because I listened to the Republican National Convention. And they mentioned documents like the Declaration of Independence. They talked about the American Revolution, George Washington, and all these people. They're trying to bet on the idea of patriotism. Well, the main thing, George Washington. Friends, I'm going to share with you a document right now showing you how George Washington would have con never condoned what's going on right now with the Republican Party with the MAGA movement. I mean, not all Republicans. There are some Republicans who are fighting that good fight. They know what this country is meant for. They all should always know. They always know you choose country over party. And what I'm going to read for you right now is the documents. I'm gonna to explain to you in this set of videos, the actual documents, the Republicans they spoke of in the convention and how that's not what George Washington wanted. It's not what he dreamed of for his country. And I'm gonna begin with an often overlooked document. It's the document that George Washington, he spoke of when saying farewell to the American people, when he stepped down as president of the United States. Washington's farewell address. This is when George Washington stepped down as president and peacefully handed over the reins of the presidency to the next person, John Adams. I know you're thinking, oh, George Washington, he was flawed. He failed in this way. He failed in this, this, this way. Well, friends, I'm telling you right now, as a descendant of slaves, as a woman who has a connection to George Washington in a very unique way, I have a right to speak of him and a right to talk about what he got right and how this is something he got right. So in this first video, in part one, I'm gonna give you the introduction of Washington's farewell address, how he was warning the American people. Again, I'm giving you the introduction of the address. More quotes will come from the address in later videos. So here, friends, I go. Where he says to the American people when he's saying goodbye, not unconscious in the outset of the inferiority of my qualifications. Experience in my own eyes, perhaps still more in the eyes of others, has strengthened the motives to diffidence of myself and every day the increasing weight of my years. It admonishes me more and more that the shade of retirement is necessary for me as it will be welcome. My feelings do not permit me to suspend the deep acknowledgement of the debt of gratitude which I owe to my beloved country for the many honors it has conferred upon me. These will be offered to you with the more freedom as you can only see in them the disinterested warnings of a parting friend who can possibly have no personal motive to bias his counsel. This is Washington saying, I'm gonna speak from my heart. 
he says. The unity of government which constitutes you one people is also now dear to you. It is justly so, for it is a main pillar and edifice of your real independence. But as it is easy to foresee that, from different causes and from different quarters, much pains will be taken, many artifices employed to weaken in your minds the conviction of this truth, the conviction of this truth. It is of infinite moment that you should properly estimate the immense value of your national union to your collective and individual happiness. Thus he begins to talk to the American people. And I'll explain more of this in part two. Thank you so much, guys. I hope to see you again very soon. Please continue to listen. See you soon, guys. Thank you.